Yoga for Sports with Coach Vig. Yeah. Today's episode, Yoga for Hockey. The athlete's secret weapon. Get it wherever books are sold. Well, my friends, it's Coach Vig, and this is Yoga for Hockey Players, a part of my big Yoga for Sports series, which you can do all of them down below in the About section. Hockey is my favorite sport. I grew up playing it in West Salem, Wisconsin for about eight years. Actually learned how to skate on Lake Nishanik when it was frozen over uh, when I was five years old. Played in the mites, the squirts, the peewees, which, which you could check, the bantams. Many years is my favorite sport. I actually played left wing, even though I'm right-handed. So what we're going to do in this yoga routine, about a 10-minute one, all body weight, great for everyone. We're going to bring movement into your upper back and shoulders, also twisting, loosening up your lower back for better shots, for better finesse on the ice, as well as opening up your hips and stretching your hip flexors. It's going to be a great workout. Do it before every practice and every game. By the way, two great hockey movies I recommend to go along with this workout are Slapshot and Youngblood. Slapshot and Youngblood. It's like Caddyshack with our Yoga for Golfers series. Let's begin with Child's Pose, breathing in the nose and out the nose. Focus, share this with your coaches and your teammates. I want to see you all doing them together before your practices and games. So stretch back. Let's get some length in the spine. Draw the shoulders back, widen the knees, and bring your face all the way down to the mat. Take three breaths right here. I want to lengthen, loosen up the back muscles. Ah, there we are. In our first hockey rink that I had, we had square corners. They weren't rounded in the rink, so if the puck got in the corner, it would take about three days to get it out of there. Let's add the child's pose twist. Rock onto your right side. Want to get a lot of rotation into your obliques on your sides and your lower back. Other side. For when passing or hitting or hitting a slap shot or a wrist shot. And breathe deep to build that focus. Focus on the ice. And focus when if you're playing check hockey. You can avoid a lot of those checks. Keep your career longer. Play for a longer amount of time, less injury. Oh, big twist. Exhale, twist to the side. Let's do it one more time on each side. We'll pack in as much as we can in this short amount of time. All right, stretch it out one more time. Okay, low lunge with a twist. Literally, take the shoulders back and down. Fix the shirt. Bring your right foot forward. Walk that left knee back. So we're stretching your hip flexor that's right here, top of the thigh. Whenever you lift your leg, you're using that hip flexor. Shoulders back. So we have the lunge, let's twist it. Left hand down, bring the right arm up, or bring the right arm to your lower back. As you exhale, roll the shoulder back a little further. In the nose, out the nose, visualize the breath, let it bathe your muscles in the oxygen. We want circulation. Two more breaths. Something's biting me. Okay. We're out here in the Colorado Front Range. Make sure you check in below, comment below with your feedback and where you're doing this workout from, where in the world. Love to hear your feedback. All right, step back to downward facing dog. I'm going to do a left wing shirt tuck there. Press it back before we go to the lunge on the other side. So relax your shoulders, give them a little shake. We want to release up here, release this wall. Sometimes it can feel like a brick wall. So relax into it, sink the heels downward, upper body towards the legs. Open the fingers wide, two more breaths. Good, your neck is loose. We want to strip away all this junk, all these knots and blocks that hold us back. Now, left foot forward, low lunge, other side. So start, take the shoulders, bring them down, down and back. We don't want to come in with rolled shoulders. Right hand down, inhale, left arm up, or bring it to your 
Lower back. Left shoulder back. Walk that right knee back a little further. Give the hip flexor a jolly good stretch. Good. Open up those sides. Looser, stronger core translates to stronger shots, stronger passes, more accurate passing, more controlled passing. One more breath. Okay, step it back. Downward facing dog. Let's walk the legs with a twist. So bend the left knee, lengthen the right leg, and twist across. Oh, you might hear some sounds like popcorn or Rice Krispies, snap, crackle, pop as your body adjusts, as your spine moves. Let's do five more steps. One, two, three, four, and five. A little core strength there. Come forward into plank position. Hands are on the shoulders, elbows in. Modify with the knees down. Pull the shoulders back. And beware of, don't dip or lift here, keep it parallel to the mat. Five breaths, bring your whole body into it. Just looking off, sometimes elk wander onto the set, bear, who knows. <laughs> Two more breaths, my friend. Good. How's that plank feel, feel good? Let your body shake. You can always hold these longer and pause the video. Now, hover, press forward, lower down. Elbows hugging the sides, strong in the arms and the shoulders. You can drop the knees, if you wish. All the way down, shoulders back. Lift up into either cobra or upward facing dog. Shoulders back, squeeze the glutes. Now drop the leg behind, back and forth. Building some tremendous movement in your lower back and abdominal, in your core, your center of strength. I teach this one a lot. I like it a lot. Okay, one more time each side. Okay, back to your up dog or cobra lift. And then downward, whew, facing dog. Feel that in the shoulders and the arms. Let's keep moving, left foot forward warrior position. So turn the right foot in, bend the left knee. Proud warrior. Place the left hand down. Inhale, right arm up. I'm slipping a little bit. How about that? Okay. Take that arm to your lower back. Roll the shoulder back. Always reinforcing good posture, good alignment. Stretching this hip flexor. Now, Here's the fun part. Extend this top arm. Huge stretch down the side. <sighs> Two more breaths. Good. We'll be working that left thigh. Okay. Now the even more fun part. Take the right hand down. Oh! The revolving warrior. Arm up or arm to the lower back. Work into it. you got to practice these every day. Practice them before your practices, before your games. Do them with your team. Snap some photos. Share them with me on Facebook at Sean V. Okay, bring it back. Step back. Downward facing dog. Let's take ten steps here. One, two, add the twist. Three, four. Flexibility is youth. It will increase your performance on every level, every sport, every activity. <sighs> okay, little shake out and warrior on the other side. Proud warrior. So we pivot this foot, right hand down, arm up, or lower back. Rotate into it. Rotate that left shoulder back. Okay, one more breath, one more breath, we got it, my friend. And let's extend. Almost forgot that one, what a shame that would be. Three more breaths. Really extend this arm, 
pull the shoulder back. Okay, let's revolve. Why not? Slip in, <laughs> left hand down, right arm up, or to lower back. Four breaths, I'm stepping on a big rock or something. Good, the more oxygen, pump it into your system, into your bloodstream. Let the blood circulate through the muscles, feeding the muscles. Okay, vinyasa flow. Step back to plank, press forward, hover, slowly down. Strong, 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 strong. Tops of the feet on the mat, lift up, cobra or up dog, twist. Again, 10 times. Here's three, four, five. How are we doing for time? Oh my, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay. Take it back, child's pose for two breaths. Okay, everyone's favorite, pigeon pose, opening up the hips. Let's bring the right knee forward, slide the left leg back. There's pebbles off the mat. There's no pebbles in hockey. All right, walk that right foot forward. And you want to be right over the center here, right over the center. Okay. Now walk the hands down. We're going to add a twist to this, of course. We take a couple breaths to massage and release the glute, the IT band, the hips, the hip flexors. Okay. Pigeon with a twist. Bring the left forearm down. Reach the right arm up. Draw the shoulder back if you want. You can also bend this leg. Grab high. Exhale. Twist and pull. Okay, how's your body feeling? Is it pushing back? Twist and pull. Exhale as you do that two more times. So we're stretching your quad, also the top of the thigh. I just punched myself. Do you believe in miracles? Yes. What's that from? Oh, I grew up with that. So good. All right, release. Pigeon on the other side. Left knee forward. Again, working in the center, right? In that center area. Smush it out a little bit, walk it forward. Make your hands fart. There we go. <laughs> That's an add on, okay? Add on. Back and forth. Okay, the twist, right forearm down, left arm back. Stay here or bend the leg. Each exhale, twist and pull. Come on, do it. Let's do two more deep breaths. Pulling an arm on a slot machine. All right, my friends, that's it. Let's finish in child's pose. If you like this video, hit the like button, share it with your teammates and coaches. I want to hear from you and subscribe to never miss a workout. Remember all the yoga for sports videos in this series are in the about section below. And Coach Vig, always a pleasure to be with you, my friends. Keep practicing, leave your feedback below, and I'll see you next time. Oh, check this out. On my best-selling book, Power Yoga for Athletes, over 100 yoga poses for all ages and fitness levels, as well as 25 complete yoga flows and training logs for all the major sports. Get your copy today, or perhaps you do better with four copies.